Hello, uh, my name is Dave Scheibel. I'm with Bond Products in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We have been manufacturing turf seaming tape now for a number of years, and we have manufactured for some uh, large concerns in the out of the Dalton, Georgia area, where the tufted uh, artificial turf is probably uh, headquarters. And as time moved on, we found that they had many old and uh, styles and ways of installing and seaming turf. We were given the opportunity to work with a very large concern and we looked at how they were using uh, Cordura nylon, 15 inches wide, uh, all types of trowels, buckets of epoxy and adhesives that weighed many, many pounds to lug to the job site. It was highly flammable goods. Uh, the Time consumed in uh, centering the carpet, the turf, and seeing the turf was endless and very uh, messy operation almost from start to finish. So we gave uh, a considerable look to how this could be done in a much more technology of the 21st century. This is old fashioned, old style, and the results were um, of no better results, pardon me, than the method that we started using uh, several years ago. Okay, um, now we move over to the method that we have developed and you'll see that the there's no pails to carry, there's no trowels, there's uh, a high speed uh, operation of seaming iron, a high temperature iron, and a three inch wide totally reinforced tape fiberglass specially developed hot melt adhesive on what we will show you is the rate of speed. This will endure through high temperatures, low temperatures, um, weather conditions that are less than favorable for install. You can still work with this product. And we find that the brake strength was equal to the 15 inch Cordura nylon by all means. Uh, the shear strength was as equal or even better. And the overall results were a much smoother operation, no mess, no fuss no working in pails of adhesive and gobs of glue all over the place and you would be able to do this in a much quicker amount of time. So we will show you on a closer uh, look with the camera of how this iron works. We'll melt it and we'll seam it and we'll give you a, a visual look from the back as well as the face side. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll give you a small demonstration um, on top of a table here with a, uh, a putting green surface um, developed by a company, Creative uh, Carpets in Florida. And we will now make a, a seam for you. As we place the iron on the tape, we get it uh, in a molten state. The iron will glide between the cut in the turf as we work it down you get past the actual seam area as you can see if you can lift that in your left hand a little bit yeah, okay now you see the iron gliding down at this point you will now take and press the two edges together into the molten adhesive and as you work down the seam you will take a seam tractor and make sure that you are making complete penetration between the turf tape and the backing on the putting green surface, the artificial turf itself. And you'll see how easy it does glide. It's not um, working uh, in a manner that you, you almost know by the iron's movement, the gliding part of it, that you are completely melted, which is very important. It is a, high, uh, a special iron developed with a high temperature for this type of adhesive. And we'll 
see a completed seam in a few minutes. As you can see how fast it is compared to the old method and technology. The iron has a protective shield that once you have passed the seam area, you place it in that shield, finish off your seam, roll it in to its final completion. Okay, now we have the uh, finished product. As you can see by the tape hanging out this end as well as this end, you're looking at the center of the seam. Now if you'll zoom in on that, first of all, you will not see any visible seam. A perfect seam in your artificial turf. And especially so when this is going to be a putty surface. Okay, let's turn it over from the back side and you'll see several things. One, how flexible it is. And this could be glued down. It could be laid loose. It could be power stretched in. This will withhold up the, under any of the stretching that would be required to install this type of uh, artificial turf. Uh, long before the seam itself would break, this, this type of carpet would break itself. The backing would break down. Again, we could have water on this in cold, uh, rainy weather. We could have uh, even ice and snow. There is no contraction and, and resistance. It is a permanent seam and it will withstand heat as well as cold. Okay, you can see that uh, it requires very little tools. There's, again, we'll, not to beat up the other method, but you do not have trowels, you do not have buckets of adhesive, you do not have this large rolls of scrim. You have a specially designed iron with a high temperature uh, thermostat on it. You have a special tape made with paper backing with a fiberglass scrim and a specially designed uh, hot melt thermoplastic adhesive on it and a seam roller. And you can just about do any type of artificial turf from a large football soccer field to a backyard putting green to somebody's um, in and around their swimming pool. It has so many uh, usage as well as such a simple, easy operation. We find that you, uh, this method is again so far advanced over the old method of doing artificial turf seaming. Come and try it yourself.